up on stage, Matt McAndrew! How's it going, everyone? Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I get before I get started, uh, I just want everyone here to know this place is not called Min Lam's because I asked a few shirtless people coming here, and they looked at me like I was retarded. They were surprised a retarded person was driving a car. Oh, thank you. This side of the room doesn't think that's funny, but I get it. It's it's a little rough, but no. Uh, uh, a little bit about me. Hi, I'm Matt, um, and I'm an alcoholic. Thank you. Yeah, usually when I'm in a basement saying that, people will say, hi, Matt. <laughs> Apparently it's different here. And it's weird for me to come to these places and, like, bars, because that's like a pedophile trying to become an elementary school teacher. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a long one for you guys. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to say. All right, yeah, so, yeah, I, 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 I'm an alcoholic, whatever, but uh, does anyone here know the first rule of AA? Anybody go ahead. The first rule of AA is you don't talk about AA. The second rule of AA is you don't talk about AA. <laughs> the third rule is like, don't drink. I don't know. It's, I'm only on step two or something. My first step is not talking about it, and I, I can't do it. I talk about it all the time. All right, here, here we go, here we go. It's a rough one. All right, um, uh, I've noticed uh, driving here that there's uh, two types of uh, people on bikes. And the first one is they look like they're sponsored by Nike, wearing the spandex, looking good. And the second has a DUI. I was in one of those categories. And to help you uh, tell the difference, um, if they don't have a helmet on, they probably have a DUI. If they look like they have a will to live, they're biking for fun. The opposite of that is a DUI. If they're trying to get hit by a car, they definitely have a DUI. Because they're just going to work. Yes, someone else has a DUI, thank you. We've all been there. All right, and um, since you guys aren't laughing, I am going to talk about my stages of addiction as cereal box mascots. You guys are not happy over there. It's gonna suck so bad for you. <laughs> it's gonna... All right. The first stage of my addiction was Tony the Tiger. That's funny itself, shut up. Because, like, I, I was like, before I, this was before I was drinking, like, I was a pretty cool guy. Uh, I was like, FDA approved, checkup approval. Uh, and, and you know, like, you, you would hang out with me one time and you had to hang out with this guy seven times to get the most amount of fun. <laughs> There's five more of these. There's five stages of cereal box mascots. So strap in, baby. Yeah, I've been a, like, and I, I had this, like, little uh, saying I would say, like, my life was fine until I drank regrets. <laughs> That, and that's another thing, like, I regret everything I do every single day. <laughs> Almost all the time. Like, after this, I'll be like, that fucking sucked. Like, I regret this immediately. <laughs> and, I, like, the one thing, the last thing I regretted was um, 
re I relapsed one time, and it was like I got this tattoo, like a phoenix on my arm, you know, like phoenix rising from the ashes because I was done drinking. And then I, I relapsed, but you know, I, but I got it because it was like I, it was looking me right in the eye when I was drinking. But let me show you a little trick that I did to avoid that. <laughs> I could have worn long sleeves too, but I was going lefty the whole entire time. Number two, again, there's, there's six of them. Fuck it, this is only number two. Number two, Leo the Lion, the off-brand of frosted, frosted Flakes. This is gonna be a weird one. Yeah, he's like, because like, I was, like, I was drinking and like I wasn't like I, no one's bragging about eating Leo the Lion's Frosted Flakes. Like no one was bragging that they're hanging out with me, but like it was a choice. Like if you were low on money, just like Mom was when she was buying the generic cereal, like that's who I was. I was like, eh. he's okay. He's an okay guy to hang out with. Not the worst choice. Could have been better. Number three, Lucky from Lucky the Charms. <laughs> There's a song to this one too, so <laughs> gear up. <laughs> All right, yeah. Lucky from Lucky the Charms. Like, uh, you know how like in the commercials all the kids are like trying to get his Lucky Charms? But like the, the kids were like my friends and family and the charms were my booze. <laughs> so like all the kids are like, oh, we're after your, your lucky charms. But it was like, oh, we're after all your booze. You probably don't need another. <laughs> and, a crip, and a quick thing to say about my alcoholism, I've actually never been drunk before, believe it or not. I've only been blackout wasted. <laughs> if you have that same problem, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm gonna do the song now, I'm gonna do the song. <laughs> I love this song. You know, you know the, you know the, hey buddy, relax, relax, I'm almost done. I see you bouncing around over there. <laughs> you got three more, so don't worry about it. It's Lucky Charms, you know, it's, uh, you know that heart, stars, and horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons. You know that song, right? Yeah. One of us did. Oh, all right, so this is going to be funny for you, I guess. Mine, when I was drinking, was beers, wines, and vodka, brandy, and some booze. Shot glasses, whiskeys, that I will abuse. <laughs> I sang that song, apparently. <laughs> number four, does anyone uh, want to guess number four? I feel like the rapper now. <laughs> Who's number four? Captain Crunch. Crunch. Tricks Rapid's Rapid. coming, Captain Crunch. I I, I wanted to do Crap and Crunch, but I just didn't know how to do it. It didn't, it didn't line up. I did get crunchitized though, but, but I was just getting drunk. It was like, <laughs> crunchitized with Captain, but it was just me going like, oh, let's get drunk, everyone. Like, that, that was my thing. I, that's all I got from that. Like, when I was Googling, I was like, oh, cereal mascots. And I really wanted Captain Crunch in there so much, but I just, I can't. But number, number four, I'm surprised no one got this, was um, Sunny from Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> yeah, because that's just straight addiction. There's nothing funny about that bird. Like, I wonder, like, when they were, like, first naked, like, what should the mascot be like? Let's have him lose everything, have no home, and be straight up addicted to our cereal. Hold on. It just says, it says, <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, depressing, sad ad lib. <laughs> I don't have anything for it. No, but, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, this, now I said this joke before and it bombed, but, and I hope it kind of bombs here, but there was a commercial where uh, he went into space and immediately went, like, he in a rocket ship, and he immediately went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Do you know how much a rocket cost? $500 million. I don't know how.
how this addict got $500 million. Not including this, like, the, the spinning thing you gotta go around and like for getting ready for it. That was like a billion dollars, like all the training and stuff like that. So let's just say he had a billion dollars and he immediately went up and went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Alone, by the way, notice he's never eating cereal, cereal with anyone. That was me. And I noticed I eat cereal like a 50-year-old divorced man. I saw my dad do that, and he's 50 and divorced, so... And that's how I eat it. I'm pretty... That's funny. Whatever, that's funny. I had more... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, their new slogan now is, like, it turns everything chocolate... That's even the milk, which is weird because that's the only thing that turns chocolate is the milk. <laughs> but my, my slogan was like, it, it turns even sad, even my mother. <laughs> she, I told her that joke and she was not happy. <laughs> she was so upset. Number five! <laughs> Tricks the rabbit, you got it, yes. Woo! Thank you. You have no idea how I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> Tricks the rabbit. Like, Tricks the rabbit, he, notice like the kids, again, are still my friends and family, but they're not letting me have any. Like, the slogan for them was like, uh, silly Matt, vodka is for people responsible enough to enjoy it. <laughs> And like, I was just like Tricks the Rabbit. Like, I would come in with like, disguises, like, <laughs> I'm just here for my, my booze. <laughs> Silly Matt, fuck off. That was just, like the, fir like the first one was cute, but then my family was like, like, knock it off. That's not funny. <laughs> Number six, can we guess the only two people that are participating? Put your phone away. can I be three people? <laughs> this is mascot. Oh my. You know, it was, it was Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Goes, what, am I, what am I, schizophrenic? Blueberry count. Shut up. That's not even close. <laughs> those are like, those are almost generic brands. Like that's not even, that doesn't even hit the list. <laughs> I'll give you one more guess. You'll never get it, but go ahead. Toucan Sam? No. Tony the Tiger? Who's, who wasn't listening earlier? Get out of here, right? That was my first one. The Raisin Brand Sun. That, okay, that's the closest one, and I'll almost give it to you. Number six was the Quaker Oats guy. It was the Quaker Oats guy because if you ever see him, he kind of has that smug little smirk on his face. Like, he's got that past. Like, he, you know he's fucked up a little bit, but... That's me being the Quaker Oats guy. I, I forget most of the jokes, so I'm just trying to remember. So just, this is me being the Quaker Oats guy. Okay, and uh, <laughs> the Quaker Oats guy, yeah, um, yeah, I think I have some more, I think I have some more. Let me, give me a second, give me a second. Well, that was, like, that was a joke, and then I'm like, I'm sober, so it's cool. Like, oh, no, yeah, yeah, my Jesus joke. Do I have time to do a quick Jesus joke? All right. <laughs> All right, uh, because, like, I'm an alcoholic, I think it, it'd be, like, weird, there's weird times in history where being an alcoholic would, like, would suck. And, like, I was thinking, like, Jesus at the Last Supper. Like, his disciples. And there's two types of alcoholics. There's the one in recovery, and there's the one that's not so much in recovery. And I think the first one, when he turned the water into wine, he, was, he like, he came up to Jesus, he's like, Jesus, like, 
It's a miracle and everything, but you think you could maybe switch it back for me? We don't need any of my relapses here. We know what happens. He's like, yeah, I found my higher power. That one's really funny. Found my higher power? Whatever. Fuck off. That's really funny. Okay, the second one is the one that's not in recovery, which is, I guess, is hopefully is funnier for you guys. And the one that's uh, not in recovery, you think, like, he was just, like, Jesus turned the water into wine. <laughs> he was just stoked. <laughs> He was on, first of all, he was already pre-gaming before it because he knew there wasn't going to be that much booze there. So he comes up. He's already trash. He's like had three cups of blood or whatever. And then he like comes up and he's like, oh, Jesus, honey. Peter's, you know, he's not drinking, whatever. I already had his. Here's a bucket of water. Make some miracles happy, buddy. <laughs> he's just throwing shit at him. There's water. He pees in a bucket asking him for vodka. <laughs> Let's go, Messiah! <laughs> and, that's, and that's why he got snitched on. The alcoholic was, he's like, peeing in a bucket. Turn it into vodka! He's like, no, fuck off! And he's like, me fuck off? You fuck off! Hey guys, this Jesus, crucify him. <laughs> that's all I got. Thank you for this half. Yeah. Thank you everybody!